Let's solve some problems from the unit comparing quantities. Going to the first question, the average age of 30 boys of a class is equal to 14 years. Now, when the age of the class teacher is included in the average becomes 15 years, find the age of the class teacher. So, we have a classroom of 30 boys. So, the number of people or number of amount to be counted is 30. And let's say the sum of all the years, all the ages of the boys would be x. This is equal to 14. How come? We know the equation for average of a number. So, average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. Right? So, the average age of 30 boys of a class is equal to 14 years. When the age of the class teacher is included, the average becomes 15 years. So, what did, what has happened to the average? When the age of class teacher, let's say age of class teacher be xt, is included, now the people becomes 31 because 30 students in the class plus 1 is the teacher, the average becomes 15. Now, we need to find xt here. So, from here we get that x is equal to 30 into 14, right? So, 14 into 3 is 4, 3 is a 12, 3 ones are 3 and 4 and we get x is equal to 420. So, here we are substituting the value of x in this equation and we get 420 plus the age of teacher divided by 31 is equal to 15. So, 420 plus the age of teacher which is xt is equal to 15 into 31. Let's solve for 15 into 31. 15 into 31. So, 5, 1, 3 fives are 15, 3, 3 ones are 3 plus 1 is 4, 5 and 6 and 4. So, we have the age of teacher xt is equal to 465 minus 420, which is equal to 45. So, we get the answer here as 45. Now, let's move on to the next question. The average marks of four men is increased by three when one of them whose marks are 120 is replaced by another man. What is the marks of the new man? So, basically, let's see the question closely here. We had four men, right? So, they had a mark, okay? And we had an average for them. So, when we are replacing a man with a mark of 120, we get the uh, increase in the average by 3. What does it mean? It just means that, so, 120 is added, okay, it's added in, so basically what is the increase? It's 3, right? So, let's increase 3 in all these men, that is 4, 3 is at 12, okay. Now, we could add this to 120, right? So, 120 plus 12 is 132, which is the answer. So, basically what is happening here? The thing which is happening here is, we uh, know the increase in average. What is What does the increase in average mean? Increase in average means the whole number, the sum, right? The sum divided by the total number increases. Here the total number is not increasing. The total number is still 4. We are just replacing one person. So, the average is increasing in the sum of these people, sum of the marks of these people. So, we are multiplying it by the average marks, like in 4 people. So, 4 into 3 is 12. So, now we are added, like this is the difference, right? Now, 12 marks is the difference. And one of them whose marks is 120 is being replaced. So, what should be added to 120 to get the average as, uh, you know, 3 more than the normal average? We need to add 12 to 120. So, we get 132. Now, 
we have a lot of questions like this let's discuss this more as because you know it gets confusing so let's solve one more the average age of 30 women decreases by three months if a new person priyanka is included in place of a 25 year old woman calculate the age of priyanka so how many months is it decreasing the average is decreasing by three months what is three months three months means 3 by 12 of a year, right? How come? We have 12 months in a year. So, 3 by 12 of a year, which we could say that it's 1 fourth of a year, right? So, also we could say it is 0 0.25 years, right? 1 by 4 is 0 0.25, yeah. So, it's of 30 women, right? Now, we have to add this to the no, subtract this to 30 women. So, 30 into 0 0.25 is 25 into 3, 5 threes are 15, 3 to are 6 and 7. We get 700 and we put 2 points, we get 7 here. Now, what is 25 minus 7? Here in, the, in this case, we are subtracting 7. Why are we subtracting 7? Because the average is decreasing, right? So, what is 25 minus 7? Uh, what are we getting here? We get 25 into 3. So, 0 0.25 into 3 is 0 0.75, but it was 30. So, uh, you know, it moves here. It's 7.5. It's 7.5. 5. So, 25 minus 7.5, let's calculate 25, 7.5, 0, 5, we had 4 here, now we had 1, 1, 7, 1. We get 17.5 as the answer here. Now, let's move on to the next question. The average weight of 10 women is increased by 1 kg if two women of 42 kg and 38 kg are replaced by two men, find the average weight of both the men, right? The average weight of 10 women is increased by 1 kg. So, how much weight is totally increased? It's 1 into 10, which is 10 kg is increased in total, right? And what is it replacing? 42 kgs and 32, 38 kg, two women. So, what is the weight which should be added to it? It is 10 plus 42 plus 38, which would be equal to 38, 42 and 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. We get 1 here. 4 and 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. This is addition. So, we get 90. And average of the weight of both of the men. This is the average of the weight of, like we have to find it for each of the men. So, it's 90 by 2. It's equal to 45. So, 45 kilogram is the answer for this question. Now, the average age of committee of 11 persons increases by 2 years when 3 men of 32 years, 34 years and 33 years are replaced by 3 women. What will be the average age of these 3 women? So, now, what do we have here? We have 11 people. And there is an increase by 2 years. So, what is the total increase? That is 22 years, right? Now, 22 years is increased to what all things? 32 year of a man, 34 year of a man and 33 year of a man. Now, let's add this. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. We have one balance. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10 plus 2 is 12. We have 121 here. Now, what will be the age of those three women? We have three women here. So, 121 divided by 3, we get 40.3. We get the answer as 40.3 here. Let's solve this question. The average age of 15 students is 11 year and 3 months, which is increased by 1 year and half months when the age of teacher is included. Find the age of teacher in years and months, right? Now, what is given here? We have 11 years and 3 months. 
which means that it's 11 plus 3 by 12 years. So, 3 by 12 is 3 months out of 12. So, basically this gives us 12 into 11 which is 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 132. 132 plus 3 is 135, 135 by 12 years. Now, how much is it increased by? 1 year and half months. So, that means 1 plus 1 by 2 of 12, which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 24, which gives us 25 by 24 years, right? Now, let's see. What does the question say? It says that the sum of the ages of the students divided by 15 is equal to 135 by 12. How did this happen? Because the average is the sum of the age of the students divided by the number of students and we got the averages 11 years and 3 months. Which means that x is equal to 135 by 12 into 15. Right? Now, when we add the age of teacher, which is x plus xt, we add one more person, so this becomes 16 and this would be equal to 135 by 12 my, uh, plus, what is one year and half months? 25 by 24. Right? Now, let's convert it into the same denominator. What is 135 into 2? 135 into 2 is 5, 2 is a 10, 3, 2 is a 6, 7, 2, 1 is a 2. So, 135 into 2 is 270. We have 270 plus 25 by 24, which is equal to, what do we get? 295 by 24. Now, what is x plus xt then? x plus xt becomes 295 into 16 by 24, right? Now, let's see what x is. x is 135 by 12 into 15, right? This minus xt is equal to 295 by 24 plus xt, sorry. So, we have to find the solution of xt. xt is equal to 295 by 24 minus 135 into 15 by 12, right? So, we divide, uh, we multiply this by 2 to make this the same denominator, right? We could actually write 295 by 24 as what? 295 by 24. How did we get there? We could sub uh, cut this down, right? We could write this as what? We have 295 by 24 here into 16. We have 16 here. 295 into 24 into 16. So, we have a 16 here. We have 135 into 15 by 12. Now, what do we do? We could either cut this down or multiply this by 2. So, you know, we will get a term. So, 2 into 16 into 295 by 24 minus... 2 into 135 into 15 by 24. Got it? Now, let's cancel this out. Wait, we have 295 into 16. 295 into 16. Let's solve it. 295 into 16. 6 fives are 30. 6 nines are 54. We get 57. 6 twos are 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 1 5s are 5, 1 9s are 9, 1 2s are 2, 0 7 plus 5 is 12, 10 plus 7 is 17, 3 plus 1 is 4. It's 4 7 2 0. So we have 4 7 2 0 there, which is 4 7 2 0 minus, we have 15 into 2 is 30, right? So we have 30 into 135. Let's see what 135 into 3 is. 
135 into 3 is equal to 5 threes are 15, 3 threes are 9 plus 1 10, 3 ones are 3 and 4. It's 4 not 5. So, what does this become? This becomes 4050, right? It's 4050 by 24, which is equal to what is 4720 minus 4050? It's 0, we get 12 here, we get 6 here. So, 5 plus uh, 7 is 12, right? Now, 6. We got 670 here. So, 670 by 24. What is 670 by 24? Let's cancel this out. Is it multiplicable by 3? 6 plus 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. So, no. So, we'll cut it by 2. We have 3, 3, 5 by 12. What is 335 by 12? Let's see. So, Let's do the calculation. 335 divided by 12. So, 12 into 2 is 24. 12 into 3 is 36. So, 2 into 12 is 24. Now, this becomes 13. This becomes 2. And 9 plus 4 is 13. And we have 95 here. So, how much times is 95? We have 12 into say 8, 8 to say 16, 8 ones are 8 and 96, oops. So, let us take 7. What is 12 into 7? 7 to say 14, 7 ones are 7 and 8. We have 84 by 5 minus 4 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 12 by 11 it is. Now, we have 27 years 11 by 12, which means that 9 months, right? Let's see. Is there an option? Let's see whether there is an option there. Let's redo the calculation of 335 by 12. So, we go 335 by 12, right? So, we have 2 times 12 as 24. 24 and 33 have a, dis a difference of how much? 24 and 33. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, 95. How much times in 95 does 12 go? We could say that 12 into 8. What is 12 into 8? 8 to 16. 8 ones are 8. 96. So, it is 20. Approximately, we could say that it is 28 years, right? Or 27. How much is it? We have 335. Then we have 12 into 8 and 96. We have 28.4. We got it as 28 years and 4 months. Now, Sachin Tendulkar in his 17th innings make a score of 85 and then by increase his average by 3. What is his average after 17th innings? So, up to 16th innings, we are knowing the things. So, in 17th inning, he have 85 score, right? So, till 16th Till 16th innings, I could say that it is 16x plus 85 is the score divided by total number of innings is 17, which would be equal to, it increased his average by what? 3, right? So, we got this formula where 16x plus 85 plus by 17 equal to x plus 3. How did we get it? So, this is the total number, like total number of scores. That is 16 into x, x is the score, then plus 85 by 17, which is equal to x plus 3. So, let us solve for this. 16x plus 85 would be equal to 17x plus 17 into 3, 
is 7, 3 is a 21, 3 1 is a 3, 51, so 51. Now 17 minus 16 is x is equal to 85 minus 51. So 85 minus 51 gives us 4 and 3 which is 34. So the answer for this question is 34. Now the average of 12 numbers is 27. On excluding the 12th number, the average becomes 26. Determine the 12th number. So here we have the average of 12 numbers. Let's say the sum of 12 numbers is x. The average of 12 numbers is 27. So on excluding the 12th number, I am excluding the 12th number. That is, I am saying uh, here the total number of we could find the total number of like, total sum of the numbers, right? X is equal to 27 into 12, which gives us 27 into 12, which gives us 7 2s are 14, 2 2s are 4 and 5, 1 7s are 7, 1 2s are 2, 4, 7 plus 5 is 12, so 2 plus 1 is 3. Now we have X as 324. Now we know that the sum of 12 numbers is 324. Now, 324 minus the 12th number, let's call it n, minus the 12th number by 11. Why? Now, we have only 11 terms, we are removing the 12th term, would give us the average of 26. So, now we could find what the 12th number is, 364, 324 minus n is equal to 26 into 11 gives 6, 2, 6 and 2, so 6, 8 and 2, so we get 286 here, so n would become 324 minus 286, right, so 324 minus 286 becomes 14, this becomes 1, then 6 plus 8 is 14, then this is 11, 2, and this is 3. So, we get n as 38. So, the 12th number is 38. Now, moving on to the next question. The average age of a class of 33 students is 13 years. If one girl leaves the class, the average becomes 12, 15 by 16 years. What is the age of the girl? So, the average age of class of 33 students is 13 years. So, let the total number of sum of, you know, the age of students be x by 33 students is equal to 13. So, what is x here? The total num sum of the ages of the students is equal to 13 into 33, which is 13 into 33, 9, 3, again 9, 3, 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, and 429. We get this to be 429. If one girl leaves the class, the average becomes 12, 15 by 16 years. Right? So, one girl is leaving the class. So, this becomes x minus. So, 429 minus the one girl leaving the class, I'll represent her, her, represent her age is n. Now, the students become 32 which would be equal to 12, 15 by 16. What is 12, 15 by 16? It's basically 12 into 16 plus 15 by 16, turning a mixed fraction, like a fraction like this into a mixed fraction. Now, what is 12 into 16? 6 2 is a 12, 6 1 is a 6 and 7, 2 1 is a 2 and 1, so 2, 9 and 1, here we got 192, what is 192 plus 15, we get 7, 0, 1, we get 207 by 16, 207 by 16, right? Now, let's calculate this, we get 429 minus n is equal to 207 by 16 into 32. So, we could cancel this out and we get 2 here. And 207 into 2 is 7 to sub 14. We get one balance, 4, 4, 14. And this would be 414. Now, n is equal to 429 minus 414. 
429 minus 414. Now 9 plus 9 minus 4 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the number of your age of the girl is 15. Now let's go to the next question. The weights of some people are given below. It's 75, 73, 73, 72, 72, 14, 5, 92, 70, 68, 68, 68 and 51. So let's see. We need to find the sum of this first, right? So 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 2 is 15, 20, 22 plus 8 is 30, 38 plus 8 is 46, plus 1 is 47. We have 4 here. Now let's count the number of 7s here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 7s are 42, right? Now, how many 6s do we have? 1, 2, 3. 6 3s are 18. Now we have 1 5 remaining. We have four, 2 4s four here, that is 8. And what do we leave? We have 1 9. What is this? It's 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 8 is 23. And 23 plus 9 is 20, uh, 32. Now 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So here we get 8 to 7 as the answer. Now 827 divided by how many people do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 people here. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's count the numbers here again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where did we miss? We got 368s, 151. We have two 70s. So, 827 plus 70. So, 7, 9, 8. It's 897 by 13. So, let's see whether we could uh, divide this. 897 by 13. So, 13 into how much is 89? Is there any chance? Let's see. What is 7? 7 threes are 21, 2, 7 ones are 7, 8, 9. It's 91. So, let's see 6. 3s are 18. Now, 6 ones are 6 and 7. So, it's 6. Now, 89 minus 78 is 1, 1, 11. Now, we have 117 here. How many times in 117? Let's see. 13 into 9. It's 9, 3s are 27. 2, 9 ones are 9. 10, 11. So, it's basically 69.92. Now, if 90 percentage of x is 315 kilometers, then value of x is. So, 90 percentage of x means 90 by 100 into x. So, 90 by 100 into x is 315 kilometers. We have to find the value of x. So, we could do the simple substitution here. 315 by 100 by 90. 0 and 0, we could cut it out. And 9, let's see. 9, 3 is a 27. And 20, 31 minus 27 is 4, 45. We have 5, 9 is a 45. So, the answer becomes 350. It's 350 kilometers. Because the here it's kilometers, so it would be kilometers, right? Yeah. Now, 11% of a number exceeds 7% of the same number by 18. The number is. So, we are saying 11% of a number exceeds 7% of the same by 18. So, 11 by 100 of a number is equal to 7 by 100 of the same number plus 18. This is what we derive from this question, right? So, we have 11x by 100 is equal to 7x by 100 plus 8. So, here we could put this on the same side. 11x minus 7x by 100 is equal to 
18. Now, what is 11 minus 7? We have 4. 4xy 100 is equal to 18. We ca could cancel this out and say 25. So, x is equal to 18 into 25, which is equal to, let's do the calculation, 18 into 25, 8 fives are 40, 5 ones are 4 plus 5 is 9. Now, 2 eights is 16, 2 ones are 2 plus 1, 3, 0, 9 plus 6 is 15 and we have 450 here. So, x is equal to 450 and we got the answer as 450 here.